Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at Apple and Tesla on the daily weekly time frames using technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right guys, Apple daily chart, $1.41 up, a little bit up after hours, 18 mil million shares traded, 0.73% red on the day. So guys, pretty much a stall out. Anyone who bought puts here just got smushed. Bought puts here, smushed. Puts here, smushed. Puts here, smushed. All the way to the top that everyone stopped buying puts. They started buying calls. They got smushed here because calls didn't go anywhere, guys, but down. Everything decayed right here. They killed every option. Puts first, calls second. Stalling it out. Short puts, short calls would have been the play here, guys, especially on this, on this bullshit. <laughs> This is terrible, but we're back below the trend line. We're uh, back below the 50 MA, still above the, tw the 220, so it's a little bit stronger of a stance, but you have the 50 over the 200 now, so you have a little bit of a possible trend change here, but still a little bit early to see because now we're just chopping around. But five days up, guys, on, on rate cut news and Mexico-China uh, trade deals are going to be beautiful. And, and nothing, nothing still has happened since December 3rd of last year. It's the rate cut rally now. Oh, hurry. He has to do it. It's like, oh, my gosh. And then CNBC comes out, puts out the, uh, <clears throat> you know, a 92% in June. The chance that they're going to cut the rates. And then July is like 99%. Oh, yeah, they're, they're going to do it. It's like, oh, geez, here we go again. I don't think they're going to do anything, but I, I don't know. We're just going to uh, trade what they give us, guys. That's all we can do. So right now we're just stalling out. We did short calls um, here this week. We had about 10 or 11 great trades, guys, on the SPY, on the Qs. We took a beating on some uh, weekly options, though. We put some on down in here, guys, and they just took us to the house. You know, we do have losers, guys. What are you going to say? But if you have 12, 13 winners and you have two, three losers, it's not that big of a deal. And right now, for my members, we're going small small positions guys we're not loading up the house on anything i mean we had stocks going up going down on friday markets just kind of flat chopping around a little bit down but nothing nothing big the dia was flat so you know not giving us much let's see what the wednesday's action is going to be because that's really what's going to determine which way this markets go maybe on thursday friday a little more news pumping out there but again uncle jerome fomc if he drops the rates, I don't know what, uh, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. I'll just follow it. If it pops up higher, we'll short up in here. If it drops down, we'll look for areas to further bounce. I don't care, guys. Long or short, doesn't matter to me. Apple right now, no position in Apple, guys. We had some calls. We took them off. Uh, we've done some intraday trades with this, short scalps, in and out, stuff like that. But that's what we're trying to do more of, guys. Get in, get out. That's it. Done. And don't sit in these markets because one day we're gapping up, one day we're gapping down. So just take it easy. Watch the markets. Wait for the Fed on Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, probably just going to be a grind day. Light volume going nowhere. Just just decaying the puts and calls at that point. So just be careful with these markets, guys. Like Again, we're doing more intraday stuff, guys. In and outs. Thank you very much. See you next time. All right, let's go into the uh, <clears throat> the Tesla, guys. <laughs> Uh, daily chart, a dollar one up, a little bit up after hours, 7.4 million on the day, 0.47% uh, green on the day. But man, what a nice push up. Guys, again, what did the SPY do? Go up. What did everything do? Go up. All right, we hit these areas, stalled out. We hit the gap window. We have a gap fill. We also had the uh, 3A2 retrace right at the 222.25 area. And that's pretty much what we hit. Came right back down and now we're stalling out. Still weak, guys. Still below the 50 and the 200. Still in a downtrend. Still um, trying to get above the 382 and the, and the 50 retrace. Still just going nowhere. Everyone's buying calls here, guys. They're all like, yeah, oh, yeah. Here it is. Bulls, you're getting screwed. And then, boom, they bring it back here. And then they just stall it for two days. And th this just kills everything. Every option out there. Unless you're short in puts or short in calls, plain decay. Man, this one's really not going anywhere. And you're still not out of the woods, guys. You're trying to go long this one. Look at this. Down sideways. High, lower high, lower high, lower high. And then just a just a fallout. Still all on news. One day we're, they're making the cars. Next day they're not. Next day this. Next day that. Next day an Elon can't tweet anymore. And it's probably killing him. If he was able to tweet, guys, we'd probably be up about 300 right now. And that's just because of him tweeting. But right now he's trying to throw anything out there, guys, to get this thing going. Because, man, he's got to be in a little bit of trouble. His shit was cut, almost cut in half, guys. 
you're losing a lot of market cap there. So uh, we'll have to see where this, to see what happens, guys. I'm thinking margin calls still. Some people got a little bit of a hope here, but most people I think are still upside down. Probably around 250 their average prices. So they're holding on. Oh man, come on, come on. And next thing you know, what if what if the market's selling this thing slips? Again, guys, you're trying to trade Tesla, just go small. Period. It's all a market trade. One, two, three, four, five, six days up. Where'd the spy go, guys? Six days up. Pretty simple. Look, right here, spy. One, two, three, four, five, then a stall. Everything went up. Amazon. What'd you get? Five days up. Google. It's a market trade. That's why I keep telling you over and over. Look at Google. This is a weak turd. Still below the MAs. Chopping around. Everyone's like, Google, it's got, it's got to go. No, it doesn't. I was telling everyone right around a grand, right around here. They all laughed. Look where it ended up. 1020. And a, and a shit bounce leading to most likely more selling. And we're going into earnings now, guys. So I, I, you know what? That is the next prop word. Oh, earnings are going to be good with the rate cut and the China trade deal. <laughs> and next thing you know, we're going up. So right now we're fighting a lot of news. Not fighting, but, you know, with a trade, long or short. I don't care which way you're going, guys. We get some bad news, they're going to be, oh, no, bad news is good. The Fed's going to stimulate. I, I don't know, guys. It's getting to that point. That, and you look at Google. We get the gap up, and then, boom, they just killed it. And ever since, just bleeding. We get the little bit of a dead cap bounce. God, did we fill the gap there? Oh, my gosh, did we fill. Look at that. That's that. Oh, man. So this filled. That's, inter that's interesting. 1025.47. Did we fill that? What's the low on that? No, we did not fill the gap. So so that gap's still alive, guys. So that's something to watch. But wow, that one I didn't you know, I didn't look at this one for a little probably a couple weeks, guys. Wow. We were playing it here. I think we bought calls, we did puts, so, you know, we went long, short out of we we did a couple things with Google. All right, so, um, but right now, man, just weak. Holy crap, look at that. And that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Every video I do, I'm like, hey, the spy goes up, everything's pretty much going up. Spy goes down, everything's going down. Spy chops around, look what we're doing, chopping around. And this one's popping on news, dropping on news, stuff like that, so you get those. But just be careful in these markets. These guys are taking everyone's money right now. This little, they took every, every put out there, they took them out. Oh, my gosh, especially on the spy, all the way to like 287, I think. Anything that expired on Friday that was at 288 or below, pretty much zero. I think. I, I Something like that. I know at 285 they were zero. <laughs> I know that much. But, uh, but yeah, right now still okay. I mean, it, it's okay. It's above the 20 trying. I mean, it's Tesla. Then, and that's what's been embedded in everyone's mind. This one goes down. It always goes up. And all of a sudden, it just doesn't do anything. It's kind of it's like GoPro, guys. Sorry I'm jumping around, but... You know, it's 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 just like GoPro when it when it IPO'd, and and then when it was tanking, it was like it's GoPro. There's no way, it's GoPro, and then it goes down, and it's like oh my gosh, it's from 137 guys, and then we get the pop back to 65, and then they just drop it, and then it's like but it, but it's GoPro, it's at five bucks. Come on, it's it's got to be a twenty dollar stock. It has to be. So everyone's still trying to buy this thing, and look, it just. I, <laughs> Goes from four to, to eight, guys. Almost eight, hundred percent. Take your money. Look, they bring it back down. Next thing you know, it's at four again. Maybe, maybe we'll trade at that time. If it comes back to this four dollar area, I might. We might take the trade here long, just as a spec trade, guys. Maybe a thousand shares, and just see where it goes, and just hold. If it goes to zero, great. Goes to zero. If it goes up, then hey, maybe we'll make a little bit of money on it. If you can't do the four thousand. Um, dollars worth. Um, then do 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 whatever you can. Do a hundred shares worth of four bucks, guys. Four hundred bucks. If you can lose four hundred, play it like an option. But if this thing starts to go, hey, you might get the ten, double your money, and thank you very much. Something like that. So, but yeah, right now to market trade, we're all waiting on Uncle Jerome. Weekly Tesla. Look at that. Two five four or the three eight two. Gets a nice retrace. We did close above this gap, fill, so a little more, slightly, slightly, slightly bullish. But look at that down sideways can't get above these trend lines till we start getting above 240 260 guys we stay down here i think we're going to chop markets dump we are going to go to 150 maybe lower I'm telling you we have a nice pivot here 143 and a, and a big pivot here at 116 even and that's some ugly ass selling guys on tesla period 
Look at that. I mean, they're trying to get the reverse. You got the monthly. Monthly will be big. Monthly reverses gets back above 240, 260, then yeah, at the end of June. Then then yeah, maybe higher prices. But if it can't even get going in it, it comes right back down with a little bit tail and clicks over and just I think we're going lower. Again, everything's a market trade, guys, right now. You could clearly see what the hell's going on. So so just watch yourself on this one. I know Tesla bulls, you're really starting to get like, oh man, what what's going on here? So it's Tesla. But man, I'm telling you. 119, 117. And then if it really get a market start dumping, I, I could see a hundred bucks on this one. Should never have been up here, guys. Look at that. Model three right here. Blast off. Came back. Wiped all those canes out. So anyone who bought here, any anywhere in here, you're back to break even. You've been in this thing for five years, guys, going nowhere. This is the best trading stock ever. Hundred point moves. And you're not, and the bulls aren't taking profits. There's no way. He said 420. Oh, yeah, he was smoking weed, guys. Of course he said 420. If I was a CEO, I would have said 620. Why not? The hell? 720 looks, that even looks better. <laughs> right? I mean, really, at the end of the day, what are you going to tell him? But 100 point moves. I've been telling you guys, bull or bears, I don't care. Bears, you go short, cover, go long, cut, take it off, short, long, short. We did 14, 15 trades on this one. We have a couple losers now. And then the losers came from this area here, guys. We were trying to buy the dip, too, with everybody. Went a little bit early. We caught this one for some nice gains, guys. About 80% on our calls. Everyone, when I sold them, everyone was like, dude, you're selling these? No way. I was like, yeah, I'm not taking a chance with this one. This one could have a little more downside. And I said, 180. That's the number. Look at that. Once, What was the low? 178.97. I've been telling you 180 since pretty much back here. And then definitely on this one. You go back to stock twits. It's on there. 180 is coming. This area cracks. That area cracks. Here it comes. So we took this money, the profits. We started. We did it here. They gapped us down, screwed us. Gapped it down. We tried it here. They just took us to the house. And then we did one here. And guys, it went up. We took the money and ran. I was like, I'm not even. I'm going to take some profits. So I'm green overall on a couple of winners, a couple of losers. But man, what a tough trade. I can imagine the guys going all in. We went small. A couple contracts. A couple hundred bucks, guys. That's it. Goes up. You make a couple hundred, get out. If you have a bigger account, you make a couple grand, get out. I mean, yeah, of course, then we go up. This this was the area. Unbelievable. Should have bought more here, but you know what? After a while, you know, this one here, it was like, oh, my gosh, is it going to crack? And then we got that. That was already in the 621s. That was it. Went up, took my money, and said, thank you. And then, look, everyone's chasing. They bring it down, and now they're stalling it. So you buy calls here, you're screwed right now. So just moral of the story, guys, just be careful in these markets. Money management is super critical right now, guys. It will save your ass and keep you trading in these markets. Uncle Jerome's coming up on Wednesday. Most likely nothing to do here, guys. They're most likely just going to chop and pop and drop. All right, and if the markets just stall out, Tesla could be up 20. It could be down 20. Everything, guys. I don't care what it is. Apple, Tesla, Google, Amazon. It's all going to go up with the SPY, all going to go down with the SPY. If it is light, light, light volume, then you're going to see some, uh, you know, pushing and uh, dropping. You know, and there's, there, whichever way the institutional money needs to pay out less premium, that's the way they're going to bring these, period. Unless the whole market shoots up on, on, you know, with the SPY ripping higher, maybe on some China trade deal or whatever they come up with this week. Or, you know, maybe the SPY starts bomb, bombing and really getting some downside. All right, then, then everything's going lower. So tie everything with the markets up or down. And then if the markets are chopping the SPY doing nothing, then these stocks can go up and down too. That's look, look, at, look at a bunch of stocks on Friday, guys. Markets just chopping a little bit down. I mean, the IWM led the way down. But the, the Dow flat, SPY down 32. Qs were a little bit weaker as well, but nothing crazy. But you still had a bunch of stocks green, a bunch of stocks red. Just a mixed bag of tricks when the markets are doing nothing. So just be careful out there. That's all I'm doing and it's all I'm teaching my members right now, guys. Small positions, try to do more intraday stuff, in and outs, where you don't hold overnight because, God forbid, you gap up or gap down or the wrong way in one of your trades, you're done. They just take you out, especially weekly. So if you go out a little bit further with options, a little bit, little bit easier to handle in these markets. But even if you bought puts down here, guys, thinking this thing's breaking down, you just got railed. You got railed on everything, guys, in the last couple of weeks if you bought puts. All right, we're staying away. We're, we're going smaller. 
We had, we did have some puts though, guys. We did. We did have some puts all week. We did some calls all week. We short. No, we didn't do. We shorted calls this week. So, um, just um, just let's see what we get on Wednesday, guys. That's that's going to be the uh, the next storyline for for the CNBC hype. So, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more more about the markets, money management. Take it easy in these markets, especially in names like this, guys. And even look at Apple. Everyone's like, yeah, Apple, yeah. And then they freaking drop it down with a gap down on Friday. And pretty much anyone buying calls here on Monday just got roasted. Gosh, it tough markets for puts and calls, guys. We've been shorting calls and puts, playing the decay, guys. So, all right, that's going to be it. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. We've been going live. Come by, check out our live stream. Don't forget to like the video. And uh, don't forget to sign up either, guys. 30 bucks a month. It's not that expensive. We had 11 or 12 good trades this week, guys. All intraday stuff. And uh, just keep banging them out. That's what we do here at StockBookie.com. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.